Mrs. Ford and Mrs. Hacker. And it's spoon race time. Yay! Five to seven items around your house that you think you can carry on a spoon. So we found a fake flower, a fake lime, a coffee pod, a plastic Easter egg, a golf ball, a water ball, and a rock. So you're gonna set up a bowl, kind of a far distance, not too far though, away from the other bowl that you're gonna carry your item on a spoon and drop it in the other bucket. But don't go too fast because if you go too fast and your item falls off of your spoon, you have to go back to the beginning and start over. All right, you're gonna be timing this activity between all the members that you have doing this activity with you. So come grab some, your sister, your brother, your mom, your dad, whoever wants to participate and come, let's have some fun. Baker Bears, it's time to do the spoon race. Are you ready to have some fun? All you need is one bowl and six cups. Line yourself up, step forward, and roll. Knock down as many cups as you can. Let me try that again. And roll. It's time to go bullzerk. Hey Baker Bears, I am so excited to do this virtual field day and today we're gonna do the crazy obstacle course. All you need is some sidewalk chalk, your driveway or the street as long as your parents are with you and a timer or a watch for somebody to watch you. Crazy obstacle course. Hello, Baker families. I'm Miss Riley, and welcome to Baker Elementary Field Day 2020. Remember in the music room sometimes when we have a few minutes at the end of class, or sometimes we just might need to stand up and get the wiggles out? One of our favorite things to do is to stand up and do the freeze dance. You're not going to need anything special to do this, and all you have to do is get up and dance. So when the music's going, you move, and then when the music stops, you freeze and make a statue. I would love while you're doing this to try to make different level statues. One time when you freeze, see if you can go down low like this, down on the ground. And then one time when you freeze, you can see if you can make a statue up high. Sometimes you can make one silly, you can make one scary, you can make all kinds of different statues. Have fun, I hope you enjoy the f -f 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 freeze dance. around your house and I've set up my starting point about six feet from my basket. 
Hop and bop. Sweet Dal and I are so excited to be doing the dance challenge with you for our virtual field day. We're going to do a TikTok dance challenge and we are going to be doing the Macarena, but with a little spin on it and a little bit faster. Right, let's review. You're going to put one hand out in front of you, put your other hand out in front of you, flip your first hand over, flip your second hand over, cross your hands to your shoulders one at a time, then onto your head one at a time. And cross your hands on your hips and then uncross them on your hips and then we're going to play the drums really really quick and then i think y'all call this the whoa i don't know if i'm, no, doing right. I'm not doing that right but you're going to whoa however whoa. You're at the end and that's how we're going to end it and remember you're going to do this really really fast Alright, so you want to do it together? Y'all will play this as many times as you need before you go to the next video for the challenge. Whoa! Hey Baker Bears, Coach Cool here with another great, fun, awesome, exciting virtual field day activity for you. Uh, this one is also simple, it's a 60 second race. Zigzag race. So we have two uh, lines set up here. You could either work with a partner or work on your own. If you have three people like we do, you could partner up on, in one group and have the other run solo, or you could just add another row here of four objects. So we used uh, sponge balls and wiffle balls as our objects. You only need those as a visual to see uh, where to, what to bear crawl over and then what to zigzag back through. So again, it's a 60 second race. You're trying to get as many laps as you can done before the timer says stop. And go! Time. Woo. Second's just right amount of time on that one. That's hard. We got nine, and Caleb was about to have ten, so he beat us. But yeah, those are our numbers. You can compare them against your classmates to see if you did better or if they beat you. Enjoy, Baker Bears. Have fun. Beats Bears Battlestar Galactica. Hey, Baker Bears. It's Miss Brown. For today's virtual field day activity, we are going to see how many jumping jacks you can do in 30 seconds. All you need is yourself and somebody to time you. Okay, tell me when. Ready, go. Miss Brown's Jumping Jack Speed Challenge. Hey everyone, it's Mrs. Hacker. It's time for the fan favorite game. You need a hard cover book, and you need some kind of shopping bag that kind of blows in the wind. You're also going to need two items as your start and your finish point. I'm using cups today, just from my cabinet. You're going to do this for one minute, and you're going to see how many points you can get. You take the bag, you place it at your start cone, you take your book, and you're going to fan the bag to the other cup. Let's see if I can do it. Every time I hit a cup, that's worth one point. Here we go. And you're gonna keep on going for one minute and see how many points you can get. Miss Zacker's a fan favorite. Hey Baker Bears, this is called Cookie Face. Can you race someone in your family to see who can be the first to get a cookie from their forehead to their mouth using only your face muscles? 
<laughs> Go. for cookie the cookie face race hello baker bears happy virtual field day one of the activities you can do today is called the toy towel relay <laughs> right over here we have a pair of shoes as a start point i'm here where the other pair of shoes are and there's a bucket of toys i think we have about eight toys in there For this we're going to see how many toys he can get in one minute you think he'll be able to get all of them Let's see. Row the boat like Coach Hunter. Hi, Baker Bears. I'm going to show you how to play a game called Cup Pie. Step one, you need 10 plastic cups. On the bottom of each cup, you're going to write something that you want your opponent to have to do if you get the ping pong in their cup. For example, this one says you have to do the chicken dance for 20 seconds. This one says, you have to sing, I'm a little teapot. Other examples are, do 10 jumping jacks, do 10 sit-ups. You decide what you want it to be. After you fill your cups with water, you're gonna take a ping pong ball and try to make sure your cat's not trying to hit the water over, and you're gonna try to get your ping pong ball in the cup, like this. I did it. This cup says, I have to do the hokey pokey for 20 seconds. Put your right hand in, put your right hand up, put your right hand in, and shake it all about. And that's it. Have fun. Cup Pong, that's what it's all about. Hold up, Baker Bears. Coach Cool here with another virtual field day fun and exciting challenge for you. This particular activity is called Water Bottle Race, where you can compete against yourself, trying to get the most, the highest number you can get. And then we're going to hopefully have a way for you to post your number and share that with your friends. So this is a very simple race. There's two ways to get a point. When you flip your bottle, if you fail to land it, you've got to run down, touch your object that's down there, come back, and then you try to flip it again. Now let's say I landed that. Now I get a point for landing it. So if I land it, I don't have to run down and back. I just get my point and I get to flip again, okay? So again, I can either fail, run down and back to get my point, or I can land it and get my point that way. So you try to see how many points you can get in 60 seconds. Flip the bottle, flip the bottle, flip the water bottle, flip race. Hey Baker Bears, Mr. Farrell here. Now's the time to take your favorite pictures and videos from Field Day and then share them with us on Flipgrid. Or even better, put them all together in iMovie or other kind of app like that and use this time that we have to make an awesome video and then share that with us on Flipgrid.